you know what? I am just so in love with vampires. You mean like the dead things? Well, I mean, yeah, they're they're technically dead, but I mean, they're absolutely gorgeous. Like, am I right? Do you mean like all vampires are gorgeous? Does death like give you some kind of beautiful serum or something? Did I did I miss that in chemistry and biology class? Well, I mean, at least all the vampires I know are beautiful. I mean, never mind. You know what, though? They're also incredibly strong and fast. Just think how useful that would be when dating one of them. I mean, sure. I guess that would be useful. I mean, at least maybe they can get all the chores done extremely fast. So, I, okay, I'll give, you, I'll give you that one. That one works. You know, they could be strong and fast. Hmm. They could, they could be strong and fast in other ways. The way that they, like, bite your neck, too, there's just something so hot about that. Sure, I mean, a vampire bite is just a glorified hickey, I guess. Uh, well, anyway, I mean, there's other perks, too. I mean, I've always been okay staying up late. I can totally live my life in the dark. So let me just talk about my love for werewolves. I mean, any type of man who can transform into an animal, I mean, especially like dogs and bears, just think of like how cuddly they would be. Like, oh, it would just be so nice to like wrap myself up and snuggle into their fur and oh, it would just be so comforting. Are we talking about a boyfriend or a pet? Obviously, we're talking about a boyfriend who can keep me warm with his extra body heat because we all know werewolves are like 10 or 20 degrees hotter than humans, of course. So I will never have to sleep in the cold again. Okay, we're definitely talking about a pet here. So I I'm just gonna... All right, well, forget that. But real talk, isn't there just something so sexy about the way a werewolf just has like this instinctive desire to protect and defend you. I mean, there's just something, ugh, it's amazing. Sure, they'll protect you, you know, until at least the full moon comes out and they decide to rip your head off. Might want to think about that one. Ugh, obviously, they'll be my mate and then they won't rip my head off, okay? Ugh. Sure, just pull the mate card out and that'll solve all your problems. Well, since you mentioned it, let me tell you about the fae. The fae? Um, like as in fairies? Like fairies? Well, I mean, there could be fairies, but I mean, fae is just kind of all-encompassing. So, I mean, there's just so many different varieties of fae, but I mean, we're talking about the fae. Okay, what do, what do you mean by there's so many different varieties? I mean, if, if the fae is an umbrella term, then all the varieties are what? Like fairies, pixies, elves, like that? Well, yeah. I mean, there are definitely all of those types, like, underneath that fae umbrella. But then there's, like, fae. So there's, like, fae and then there's fae. Do you get what I'm saying here? So, like, the fae are these, like, beautiful creatures. They're typically, like, strong and masculine, and they have, like, pointy ears, and they're usually pretty magical, if you get what I'm saying. So, elves. No. Uh, hear me out, okay? The fae are, like, these absolute, like, all magical beings that rule typical lands, and, I mean, you can kind of have, like, like, other creatures and whatnot, but a lot of them, like pixies and fairies and and even elves to some degree, they're all like lesser creatures to like the fae who are all these like big beautiful people. Anyway, the point is they're absolute gods. All right, so wait a minute. Now, are we talking about fairies or gods? I mean, get, get your shit together here. There's just something so wonderful and mischievous about fae they're you know sometimes they all play pranks on you or like you just never know when they might try to like sneak up on you and have a little fun if you know what i mean well i mean all the fae that i know are kind of dicks so i i don't want to know what you're talking about actually 
it's just part of their allure and sexiness. But don't even get me started on the wingspan. Why would we be talking about wingspan? Like, oh my god. Well, obviously the Fae aren't the only ones to have an impressive wingspan. Have we talked about angels? Oh no. Here we go. Unlike all the other ones that are more complicated, I mean, angels are pretty just simple and straightforward. They're angelic beings that are just pure and good and full of love and light, obviously. But aren't angels like untouchable or something? Like you're not supposed to taint them with your ish? I wouldn't taint them. They would choose to be with me and then we would live in harmony and they could protect me because they can whisk me away to heaven or wherever angels go. Listen, all I know is that Piper got Leo to like give up his angel status or whatever and because he fell in love with the mortal like he couldn't go back up to heaven or whatnot. So I mean I, it just seems like you're doing the angel dirty if you're letting him like give up his entire life. Why would you blame me? Like, wouldn't you say that, like, they're, they're sacrificing for our love? Ugh, you are such a downer. You know that? Listen, I'm just calling it like I see it. That's all. You just took everything that was pure and joyful out of that conversation. Well, if you're so against angels, then let's talk about demons. Oh, joy. What can you tell me about demons? Pray tell. Well, demons are like those stereotypical bad boys that like just everyone kind of wants to have one, you know? Well, we always know where bad boys end up. Either they don't change and they're assholes or they turn their lives around and they're not really bad boys after all, you know? <sighs> bad boys are just so mysterious and there's always that sense of danger to them. Like you never know exactly what's going to happen. It keeps me on my toes and they're just so alluring. Like, you just never know what you're going to get with a demon. Like, are we going to end up in the underworld? Are we going to sign a pact with the devil? Is he going to change his ways for me? Sounds a little bit like wishful thinking, but I mean, sure, why not? I want to know what's going to happen when you sign a pact with the demon. Keep, keep me updated on that one, okay? See you in hell. You just don't get it, okay? They're so misunderstood. You know who's also misunderstood? Our ghosts. Oh, great, we're back to dead people again. Most of the time they've died like well before their prime. And I mean, there's always a possibility that I can save them. How are you going to save them? I, do, they, do they even have a body anymore? Our love is going to conquer everything, okay? How does that even work? I mean, you guys can't even touch, right? right? How does that work? Oh my God. I need more details on this. I mean, do you guys like, is it just the romantic connection that gets you going? But what, really I wanna know about the body. Like, how do you revive him? Do you have to get like a Ouija board out or something? Like, how does this work? My undying love for him is going to materialize a body for him just by our touch alone. It's magical. Yeah, you know, this is getting a little weird. I, I must say. Speaking of weird, but just so alluring, are dragons. What now? Okay, okay, hear me out, right? So there's very similar to like werewolves or like shifters in general. There's a bunch of lore about dragons who transform into human beings. All right, I mean, we're on the same page, right? I mean, you're talking about like dragon, like rah, dragon, <sighs> right? Listen, just like other shifters, they're typically extremely hot. And also they're kind of loaded. I mean, they're known to be greedy with their treasure. So is this all about you being a sugar mama now? There's just so many perks. I mean, we have the riches, the beauty, Again, they're kind of misunderstood. There's just like the whole package and they're typically very powerful and magical as well. I mean, do you even know what dragon lore is all about? No, you know, I'm I'm just gonna let you do your thing there. I, I'll, go, I'll go read dragon stuff in my, my spare time. 
Okay, now let me tell you about the Headless Horseman. So they're just like the utmost misunderstood. And that is my cue. I'm, I'm leaving. <sighs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brie, and this is my first attempt at a skit slash satirical video. I've just been cooped up way too long in my house and <laughs> just wanted to make this like ridiculous video basically kind of highlighting what people's arguments are to loving magical beings. Obviously this video is a parody, it's not meant to be taken seriously, but I just thought it was funny how there's always these arguments I hear on the internet about Oh, well, when we love these creatures, I mean, the big one was vampires. Vampires definitely started this all, especially with Stephanie Meyer's announcement that Midnight Sun is finally being released. And I always hear the argument about, like, it's kind of creepy that, you know, Edward was, like, 107 years old, technically, and he loved Bella, who's a 16-year-old girl. So that's kind of where that started, and I just wanted to make this fun skit video to kind of highlight some of the nonsensical bits of loving magical creatures. I hope this was fun and enjoyable for you guys. It makes me so nervous to put it on the internet because obviously humor is subjective as with anything in the world. So I have no idea how this is going to be received, but I had a lot of fun. I do want to have a quick shout out to the Owl Crate Society on Facebook. I'm a part of that group and there's tons of wonderful people who helped me by commenting their favorite types of magical beings. So I tried to pick the top rated ones and a few that were just kind of funny to me when it, it, they were answers that like I never had heard before. So I wanted to include them. So Special shout out to that group and all of the people who commented on my post about this video. And in general, I just want to know your opinions down below. I mean, let's keep the conversation rolling. What are your favorite magical beings? For me, I've always been a vampire lover. I'm still a vampire lover. And more recently, the Fae. Though, I will say, I think it really rooted in elves for me at first. I loved elvish lore and their magical powers. And I do think that a lot of fae creatures in today's world, especially by Sarah J. Mass and the like. They've kind of you've taken elves and evolved them a little bit more and just kind of put the branch title of fae on them. And when I was making this video, I was kind of laughing to myself thinking like how ridiculous actually is that like there's like the fae bubble and then the fae. <laughs> so um, I would love to know, you know, what you guys, what your thoughts are down below. Also, I know that there's other magical creatures out there that I didn't touch upon in this. Um, I've always also been a lover of mermaids and I didn't do that one. So let me know, is there any other magical creatures you would like me to do in the future? And maybe I'll make a part two for this video. Otherwise, I just hope you guys had a lot of fun. I did have fun making it. It was a lot of work, but I'm hoping that it came out well and that the internet won't roast me. That's it. All right. I'm going to head out and go on with my life. And I hope you guys have a wonderful time and enjoy every bit of this. So until next time, I'll see you then. Bye.